this is the entire smart contract we had written for the automobile industry so we have all the state variable we have this event we have this constructor and we have this very first function from buying the vehicle this one is for setting the price and this one is for checking the ownership so let's deploy this contract click here and from here this is the contract we are deploying click on this deploy you can see the transaction went through and here we will find the instant of the contract so click on this here you will find all the instance so if you see here here we have all the state variable and we have used this public so we can easily able to check the variables of each of these functions okay from here we can easily able to set the price because currently the price is zero so i want to set something to five and if i make set price the transaction went through and if you call you can easily able to check the price of this vehicle and from here you can easily able to buy the vehicle so all you have to do is to pass the name so i'll type dollar and you can type whatever name you want so i will type go like something like this and from here you have to provide the price so come here and from here i'm going to buy it to five so that's the word i have defined and from here i will select the ether so the moment i will make the transaction you can able to see the transaction went through and from here you can easily able to see the owner so right now i bought this from the same account so that's why i'm still the owner but from here you can easily able to change the contract from here you can easily able to see the price the name and you can see the descriptions so that's how you can write the smart contract this one is a very basic smart contract we have built for the automobiles to understand that how to structure the smart contract so this smart contract is for only one time use and you can utilize this smart contract for different purpose so if you want to use the same contract for in the land industry so just just imagine that you want to create a contract between two person where you are creating the smart contract in that you want to store the information about the land which is going to be happen between you and that person so you can create contract like this way for individual purpose in that scenario you can use this contract because this contract is for the single use and that's the thing you have to keep in mind so i believe that you guys have got the idea that how you have to write the smart contract for the automobile industry and what are the modification you can do into this contract because there is a lot of things you can do right now we are dealing with the simple data but when you will define the contract you have to lay down the entire structure so this one is going to be a great project for you i want you to elaborate this expand this contract and add more fill add more complexity okay so do let me know that what extra functionality we can include when it's come to automobile okay so hope this entire video makes sense to all of you if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section so i'll i'll try to include that and i'm going to make an extensive video on that particular question which you guys have okay so this one is a really good practice for all of you to build your smart contract development development skills okay to understand every single thing that how exactly things work in the specific industry so with that i'm ending this video and make sure to access the complete playlist because we will have close to 60 plus different industry smart contracts okay so that's going to be a very good practice for all of you to know that how you have to write the smart contract for a different industry okay so we're going to make 60 plus smart contract we're going to write into this complete smart contract writing course okay so let's move to the next video